Welcome back, everyone, to the Black and Gold Awards Wrap-Up Show. My name is Neil Rule, the voice of the Golden Grizzlies, and also your seven-time MC of the Black and Gold Awards. I said before, I'm starting to feel my age a little bit, I guess you would say. But uh, today, we're joined by the President's Award winners, both on the soccer side of things, men's soccer player Noah Jensen, women's soccer player Kendra Zach. And Kendra, we'll start with you. I mean, the President's Award, this is really this is as big as it gets just in terms of, of your performance uh, on the pitch in your case your performance in the classroom uh, everything athletically and academically that you've accomplished what did this mean to you when, when you got word that, that you were the president's award winner no I'm very honored and excited and honestly kind of shocked I know there are so many so many amazing and talented athletes like through the athletics program and so it's kind of nice just to see um, my hard work and dedication um, to the sport and to act academics um, pay off and be recognized. And Noah, for you, I mean, you know, just like Kendra, you had a lot of uh, honors in terms of your athletic season, but a lot of people don't realize, like, I guess you would say the academic side of things. What was it like for you uh, to find out that you had won this award? Yeah, well, obviously with everything being so difficult and changed with COVID and everything, it was good to see that a lot of our student athletes were still performing in the classroom. So it was an honor just to be nominated as well as win the award because, as Kendra said, there's many talented and smart student athletes at Oakland University. But I think it, it truly is a testament to our hard work as student athletes to, to win this award. You know, when, when you look at it from that perspective, too, Kendra, and, and that's something that I think, again, going back to it, I think it really gets lost sometimes. The fans watch you play on television or come out to the matches and watch you guys play. What they don't know is as soon as you get on the bus when you leave the road game, you got to fire up that laptop. You got to get those papers in. You guys have the same rigorous academic standards that, that, that students do as well. And you guys do it at, at such a high level, as high as anybody around. I, how, do, how do you stay so disciplined through all that when you just got done playing 90 minutes, maybe over time, over 100 minutes? You know, how do you stay on top of all that? I think you have to kind of know your priorities. And then like once soccer is done, you know that your next biggest thing is to work on your academics because that's mainly the reason that we're there. Um, but I think that's the one good thing that came out of COVID is that even when we were on the bus, we were still able to attend classes, turn in work and kind of still be in touch with everyone because everyone was uh, all virtual. But I think you just have to prioritize um, what you need to do that day and kind of just get it done. <laughs> Noah, what is it about the soccer side of things? Uh, you and Kendra, both men's and women's soccer team, you guys are both the president's award winners. I mean, I, I know in the game of soccer, it, it may be the most disciplined game uh, as far as, as people play. You have 11 people working in unison. If anybody steps out of line, everybody pays the price. Well, is that where you guys learn that discipline from? Well, it definitely does take a lot of it to perform at such a high level in, in a soccer team because it does involve everyone and it takes everyone to win a given game. And if you, you switch off for a split second, then that's everything. And I think that dedication and that attention to detail also pays off in the classroom for many student athletes because not only are we working hard to achieve success in our sports, but we're also doing it in the classroom, which I think is amazing. Absolutely. And certainly you guys uh, have achieved so much success. Everybody here is very, really proud of you and your efforts and everything that you've done. You guys are, are deserved winners. There's no question about that. And I, I know this isn't this isn't the end for you guys. I'm sure we'll be talking again soon. Uh, there'll be more awards. There'll be more honors because that's how it's been for you guys so far. So, again, appreciate your time. Thank you, guys. And congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you.